Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station. Now you can see on screen now where we are up to and we had just finished building the nuclear reactor chamber that was on one of the there will be eventually six outer discs. Now I asked you guys a bit about what you thought we should put in the space station and people were very enthusiastic about putting a command center at the very bottom so that is something I'm going to do today. I'm also going to build out the foundations for the next five rings so I'm going to position them where I want and get down the base circle shape of them so that makes it just that bit easier when it comes to build them and I'm also going to finish off putting a bit of floor in in that main hanger on the inside. So that's about everything I've got to do today, so let's get started guys. So straight away we jump inside that main hanger and you can see I'm putting down a floor in that will be the upper half of this sphere and I'm copying exactly the style of the floor in beneath us where it tapered in so it will be you look down and you can see all the levels hanging out and there will also be an overhang going up so that from all levels at some place you can look down and see this main centre hanger. So right now I'm just copying over that copper bronze block. I think it's copper. Not quite definite though. I really should check that. Um, yes, I'm copying out that pattern along the floor of the fin to make it all very nice and symmetrical. So I think that adds a bit of variation, which is very nice. And you can see me coming around now and repeating the green lamp pattern we had on the bottom floor. Obviously there are no big staircases coming down on this side so it can be a complete circle all the way around so slightly different but not by any huge amount and again as well as having a function of lighting up the area and making you able to see and mobs not spawn it also just adds that little bit of variation to the mass white floor that it would be otherwise so it's always a good thing to include and then I'll run around on the top with a bit of red alloy wire just to light them all up. You can see me doing that now. So after that I then came up another layer and started to put down the floor in that would be one up because just like beneath us there are going to be three layers of floor in and this is the centre one. You can see an outline for where the third one will be that I put down just so I don't get confused. And here I am coming around working out how far I want this overhand to come and then finally filling it up and adding that little black lip with the dark matter blocks. Again a bit of variation and just makes the overhand seem a little bit more 3D with that block coming down. So after that I decided I wanted to come around and lay out a plan for where these spheres on the outer rim would go. And I'm going to have six of them. Two of them are just straight and normal, but the other four come out at angles because I'll make the walkways just that little bit more interesting, so I thought that was a good idea. Now, there are six spheres. One of them we have already used as a nuclear reactor, and here is my plan for the other five. This one that I just finished building will be a medical bay somewhere that people can come to get healed or possibly if we find some strange infection on a foreign planet you can be quarantined in this area. That rain I just finished will be a defense mechanism. Somebody left a comment saying it would be cool to see some sort of weaponry on the outside and I would like to devote one big railgun on one of these discs because I think that would be really cool. The one I just finished there. I'm planning on this being some sort of scientific research lab. I think that could be a really cool idea and with this being a space station the civilization that built it is obviously very technical so it would make sense for them to have research and science as a high level priority on this on this space station. This one I'm finishing now I think will be a solar array because I think that's a very sensible thing that you see on a lot of space stations and probes so that makes sense. And this last one, I'm not quite sure. I had a couple of ideas of what might be nice to go on here. But I want you guys to let me know what you think also should be on the outside. You can see me bumping up my render distance because now the space station is so long that it will go out of normal. 
Anyway, I've come down now to the bottom of the main sphere and I'm designing our command center. And I went for the idea that it would be one center desk with three desks around it in this lowered area in the center. And all the computers here would link up to this big screen and this would be where you can see the overview of any projectiles and the motion of the space station itself. And this is where important people would come to make decisions on what is going to happen with the space station, the course, and any military action that might be being involved. Because obviously this ship is going to have some weapons on it. And I really like the idea of having lots of different cables milling around here to make it seem very important and technical. And I think that worked really well. I then had to design a way to actually get down into this command center. And obviously this is something that wouldn't be accessed by every random guy on the station, it would be only the commanding officers and the very important people. So after designing a half-curved staircase, I'm quite keen on this idea that the staircases aren't just a straight incline up. I think that makes it a lot more nice and varied. So after designing the staircase, I also designed a chamber to surround both staircases. You can see me building up the walls here in a curved fashion. And it actually coincided with the red alley wire, which was a bit of a problem. So I played around with moving it back and filling it up with some more blocks. You can see me doing that there. Repeating the whole thing identically on the other side where the other staircase was. And finally I would come around with some reinforced doors and place those in to make sure, obviously, these would be doors that are guarded by patrols. And to make sure nobody gets on who shouldn't. Now I had a bit more time left in this episode, so I decided to build the medical bay that I was talking about a bit earlier on this first ring. So I came around and I copied the base sort of center with the two block eye window, the black outline and then the steel rim around on the top and bottom. So you can see me here going around placing in that panoramic window which I'm very fond of. And then I think I skip ahead here, yes, to adding in the Dark Matter block outline as just that bit of variation. And it's exactly identical to the start that we had for the nuclear reactor disc. But I want all of these discs to look slightly different. I don't want it to be just six identical discs going around. And since this is going to be the medical bay, it's going to be a sterile, very clean area. It made sense, I thought, to use the white block that I can't quite remember the name of for the outlines of this. I'm not quite sure why the video's freezing there, but anyway, let's carry on. Professional video, pretend it did not happen. So yes, I came up one line with steel blocks and then created with that white block another ring around that would stick up. And again, it's because the white block gives it a very sterile medical feel, which is exactly obviously what we want for the medical bay. So coming around with that like outdented block and then come down again with the steel blocks to carry on the roof quite flat. I thought of just having this as one flat roof, but thought that that would seem a bit planned and bland and boring. So I decided to make a inner sort of again raised up indented white sterile block section in the middle here just to mix it up a bit. I didn't want to add too many different blocks like I did on the nuclear reactor simply because these two discs are next to each other I want them to contrast slightly. So this one I stuck mainly with just steel and this white block and I thought that actually looked a bit too just normal so I added a couple of prawns and a skylight in because I'm also quite fond of those skylights and ended up adding in a circle of green lights this one unbroken again to contrast with the nuclear reactor disc so I went around with that and as you can see here I've repeated everything on the bottom but I didn't include that footage so it's just you you'd just be watching me build the same thing twice and where's the fun in that so again adding in the lamps on the bottom and also on the sides, that's something I added off camera onto the nuclear reactor just because I thought the sides seemed a bit dark during the nights. So I toy around with a way of connecting the red wire and realise actually I can do it through a block which makes it a lot lot easier. So I run around in a symmetrical or circular kind of pattern I should say 
um, to attach all the bottom lights in one section using one lever. And I again repeat this process on the top in exactly the same way to set all these lights up from the inside so that from the outside you don't have to see any of this red alloy wire. And those lines coming along the side are to get the boxes, the lights on the outside even. And there we go. We have built everything we are going to do this today. We have the command center. That bottom floor there, um, someone commented suggesting that we add machinery to it. And I liked that idea but ran out of time. So it is something I'm going to implement at a later date. But I like that idea of actually using our nuclear power station to power something. And as we come around we can see we have all six of these discs laid out. One we don't know that I hope you guys will have some good suggestions for. We're going to have a solar array on this one. Next up we will have our research science engineering centre because of course the space station is going to be a very scientific thing. And then finally we're going to have some sort of big ray gun and something that will be maybe a rail gun, maybe some missile launcher, something that will look very cool and we'll play around with that. And of course the medical bay, it is not furnished yet, that is again something that will go on in a future episode. So maybe you guys can let me know what you think should go inside the medical bay. And actually, I also need to do the corridor that will connect, collect, I can't speak today, what's going on? Connect the medical bay to the circular walkway. But that is all plans for a different day. So thank you guys for watching and supporting the series because you're giving a lot of likes to these videos, which is really good. And it makes me know that you want me to keep making them. So it's definitely a good thing and I'm very thankful for that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys.